All right, so uh, welcome back to Oxenfree. Last time we left off, the uh, rain was being possessed, and we got stuck in multiple time loops, and that was quite crazy. Uh, it was also uh, scary at certain moments with the loud noises. I turned my headphones up a little bit, so it's going to get me more jumpy. Also, if I seem really tired by the end of these sessions, it's always because I start recording around 3. I start recording around 3 in the morning, and then I get off around 5, and then I go to sleep at 6. So apologies to those who noticed that. I start getting really less talkative, but uh, I'm trying. So do I go to, can I go to Fort Milner if I take the, uh, take the tracks? Portuguese explorers, Spanish settlers, but few stayed long, preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part in the American Indian Wars, and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. This relay station served as the makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. When Edwards died, the government saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II and decided to take control of the island. Hmm. So that's what that does. They give you factual information through radio station. Nice. That's just pretty dope. It's a nice idea, too. Oh, whoops. All right, come on, y'all follow me. We're going to Fort Milner. Oh man, you know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but but that makes it sound like they have a little cabbage patch. Okay, are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is... I can't believe you don't remember this. Now, a year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played, and you you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. What about tonight made this pop into your head? Is it is it just because we're, like, outside? I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was... indisposed? You know, I, uh, I can't even remember. Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's... whatever, that's... that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a... Really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie Wait, is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? I guess. I mean, I, I don't really remember this at all, but... Yeah, sure. And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine, and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? You failed to tell me that part. Maybe that's why this is a more meaningful memory to me than you. I don't know. I think you probably should have taken the test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? You? You're saying this? The guy who doesn't like school thinks I should have skipped my friend's concert to take an exam? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. Well... I don't regret it. Not really. Ren did a good show. Yeah, Ren did good. Give Ren some credit. Mayday. May oh, crap. This isn't. This is just coming out of the speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? 
<laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Oh, my God. Is this what I sound like? How can anyone stand yeah, to listen to me all day? She She's, like, really hating on herself for that. And they're in the middle of getting, like, completely screwed over by a ghost. Really. Really. A haunted island. The first thing you can think of is, man, I sound gross. Hey guys, I see you down there. And without Clarissa. Actually, I'm going to stop talking since obviously it isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. Mm -hmm. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. We... Ren, we... Is there a way we can get back down? There's the estate right there. Uh, Beacon Beach. I feel like she would be back in the beginning. She might be back there. Help Clarissa so save Ren. So there was save Ren and then help Clarissa. Help her, not save her. She's sober right now. We need you capable. How can you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... that's not nice. Oh, God. Uh, Thomas. He keeps texting me about how he's upset that he doesn't know how to inspect any- or that he can't inspect anymore. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like... I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, mm -hmm. huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Look, we tuned into something in the cave, and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and what well... Other... And I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. Wait, set fire to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, you know we tuned into that thing. We kicked the door open to whatever this is. Oh, give me a break. This night is like a... It's like a giant, ugly, misery stew that Ren's clearly been the chef of. That's r What does that even mean? Guys, come on. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... He's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah, and she could hardly- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, 
I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You... Just shut up. Both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Or your new psycho stepbrother. Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? First, you let me sweat it out for, like, two hours in the woods to go gallivanting around with this guy, and now you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Rin, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, he's been like my sidekick the entire night. He's been... he's been helpful. I thought you were my sidekick. Yeah, and I thought we were more like a team, really? Like doubles tennis or something? Just... just... just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. I felt like it would be better to go with Jonas than anybody else because Jonas has been with us the entire time. So, uh, find the gate key. So we have to go back to Main Street to get the gate key. Let's go back there. You gonna be okay hanging back with the boy? Ren and I will be fine. He's just a little cranky. I'm not cranky. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. He's just a little cranky. I'm not cranky. <laughs> Leave me alone. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on, Jones, we gotta move. Yeah, we definitely gotta move. Like I said, this game's really dialogue based, so you really have to. Uh, that's why I'm not doing a lot of cut editing. Uh, with this, you have to like listen in and uh, pay attention to what's going on really nicely. So, can't be jump cutting every single time now. You're gonna say anything? I felt like I made a good choice there, though. I felt like Ren and Nona will be just fine. Come on, Jonas. We need to go back to Main Street. Okay, look, I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air, too, just so... Now, how do I go down from here? To get back over there, and I have to go back so Ren, far right. Can't use it as ammo against me, but you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know, so it 
wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why do you, um, why do you do it? Just, my mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds, and I'm not going to defend myself. You lost control, Jonas. It happens. We, we break sometimes. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, <laughs> things never really work out the way you want, you know? But I, I love this game, but the music is so loud. Are you... Are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, all right. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. Little bunker there. All right, let's go see what that is. I can access that with the remote. Oh, the radio. Whoops. That was crazy. I'd rather deal with this than the music. Okay, never mind. No, oh, I have to go back down this way. I think I'm doing this right. Yeah. I believe I'm doing this right. I have to go down from the, uh, the lookout. So I saw that. I grabbed that just in case we needed that uh, extra story in there. The island itself has a bunch of, like, story behind it. So it's good to, like, pick up some of those collectible things. I know I haven't been keeping up with all the collectibles. But I'm trying. Even if they're hard to find. A lot of them. It's the gate to the manor. Just need to find that key. Oh, there it is. That was me. Name is nuts. Was it all purple? Data command annex as it had been dubbed was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for Hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Meow meow. Let's see. We can either go back down to the beach or go to the gate where the gate and stuff is. I'm gonna go back just to see.
Come on, Jonas. Check out the beats. See what's over here. Huh. Fire's still going and everything. What is up here for me? Where would that take me? That would take me back around. So it's just one big circle. Alright. Wait, no, that would be where the boat is behind the estate, I think. So the boat would be there. Alright, come on. Let's go back up the area. Ugh. <laughs> I just had to make the trek back to Main Street, so it was quite lovely. This is, I want to, like, this is whatever, but are you like religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but. That's my controller. I mean, you know. I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because, well, because my mom was Methodist, and but I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Yeah, I could see having some of that stuff could be timely now, just um, for processing this, like having some armor. Some aspects of it just um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything, well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some things are inevitable. I don't know. I'm just babbling now. I get that. Don't worry about the stuff you can't control. Yeah, but whatever. Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. She's alive. You, you're alive, man. I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Oh Jesus! She has the. She's doing the thing. The eye thing. Christ! This is not. I am not getting used to this. I'll be honest. Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. <sighs> okay. Hang in there, baby. Maybe they want to. Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow. Is that the like point of trying to trying to whatever to talk through us or something? I guess uh, only one way to find out. Clarissa, how are you uh doing, hun? How are you doing, hun? Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? <sighs> Gotta go ahead and get her down. Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? You. This is. This will. Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you. Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're, they've like perverted this. Ghosts. 
Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the night light on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Man, Jonas, what... What was all that about? I don't know. Clarissa, are you all right? <sighs> Steady, just... She just fell off of a damn light pole. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. There's been, like, time disturbances or something. And I think that's what's been teleporting people around. So... And we just had one. Time disturbances? You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... Are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, cause I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all screwed. <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She... <sighs> okay, Clarissa, come on. I said I was sorry. You don't have to pile on. Pile on? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right you're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand? It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This is, Clarissa, this is so, I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's. Enough, I mean it. Jonas, it, it was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I. I know, I know it's okay, I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean, no? All the outs in three. So let's... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy, she was... It was like she was just here. Clarissa? Wait, Clarissa was just... She was by the monument. Wait, I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... I don't know if I buy the whole we're causing it thing. The ghosts could be messing with stuff, messing with us. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. The office? It's gotta be the... I think he's talking about the one upstairs? Guest Information Center. Well, it's a form of office, ain't it? Alright, I think that's the office right there. I'm gonna need your help with the door thing, I'm sure. Calm down! Yep, this isn't budging. While the lock looks, uh, less than modern, let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. Brute force it? What is that supposed to mean? Elbow grease, shoulder, 
lard. We're gonna break down the door, okay? Us, together. <clears throat> All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <laughs> Never gets old. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another... Oh! One. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for wave assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate too. Oh, great, let's hike it back to the gate. Oh wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom... Whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to... Oh my god, the... The Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. Mm. Conceal the many truths about Edward. That's what it means by letters. It's island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry forces outside our control. Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! Wait, to whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the- oh, Christ, this is- this is like literally a treasure map. Please do not get glassy eyes over- Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. The sun is not out, the sun is, I guess it barely came out just now, but see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Are you... are you one of those... one of, one of them... are you one of the ghosts? <laughs> Am I what? I feel like this is the start of a Christmas carol. Is this because you keep having those dreams? Because I had a crazy dream about... Melanie Pfizer? <laughs> oh, come no, on. No, 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 just listen to me. You will drown. Not here, but at Horn Lake. Back at home. You seem really confident. She seems confident. I'm a little nervous. I would be. Relax, Alex. I'm gonna teach you how to swim at the pool in the park. Don't worry about it. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You wanna know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? <laughs> Alright, can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kinda encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like... I'm standing right here. Today? 
And that time loop really being an asshole. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... Uh... <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Uh, forget it. It's alright. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like... I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their... girlfriend, or whatever. So... I think it would be cool if we could, like... Continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but... He didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right. Sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've... Missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door, we live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Just an adventure. Are you all right? Okay. Uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do 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 you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. Jonas, I just saw. I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he? D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was. It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was. It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? All right. With that, I'm going to end this one here. Uh, I feel like I'm getting closer to the end of this game, but uh, I don't know. It's been really long recording, so apologies for those. They're like up to 35 to 40 minute recordings, but uh.
Much love. Much love. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Uh, comment down below what your favorite part is so far. And, uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna try to beat this game until I can, or try to play this game until I can get to the end of it. I also still have to edit a bunch of Call of Duty and Apex footage, so uh, if you guys are looking for more content, I am going to be uploading more frequently. Uh, I know I kept taking breaks, and that's because my computer now, my computer is now completely built up the way I wanted it to. I just need to buy a new processor, buy a new graphics card, and get an SSD, and my computer is completely upgraded. But uh, with that, I will see you all in the next one. I think my F5 button doesn't work anymore. Pleased to meet you, but I'm quick to judge. I hope you drop the grudge. I know I'm not what you want.